you're not good to cut talk or clear shoes to talk with me. I hope you've all had a great week so far. It's part of the Kahawi Tao e-commerce training program. I'm having to teach you guys, bring you guys along on this journey as I learn about e-commerce. Now this is week one and our module this week is dedicated to the mindset. So the mindset is the most important part. It's our foundation. So if we don't have this right, we don't have this nice and strong, everything from here on out is going to crumble. Eh? So we're going to make sure it's nice and strong and sturdy. So this mindset module this week so far has really hit home hard and heavy and you'll find out why shortly so the first part of this was a fixed mindset versus the growth mindset so examples of the difference between these the fixed mindset are well if I was to apply to a person uh, this person would avoid challenges avoid conflicts wouldn't push past would give up easily says it's too hard not with the effort not with the time go do something else that sort of thing Person with a growth mindset are the sort of people that don't give up. They see failures and challenges as new opportunities of growth, of course, and of um, bettering themselves, of adapting, learning, and continuing to smash their goals, to smash through any obstacles. The other areas of this mindset module are the ones that I really struggled with. This area was taught by Dr. Bruce Lipton, who found that from the last trimester of pregnancy through to when you turn seven years old. To that short period of time of our lives, we are continuously observing, downloading. And what I mean by downloading is all our environment, what's being said, taught, how they act, all of it. All of that sets up our, I would say, foundation for the rest of our life. So our foundation includes our beliefs, our values, our habits, all of it. So it's pretty crucial. Also, areas later in our life, like areas that we struggle with this all connects back to those first seven years what was taught to us uh, how to act in public uh, of all the rules of society were all taught to us in those first seven years so it's pretty pretty crazy pretty mind-blowing hearing that um also my second oldest just turned seven this last month and i can't help but thank you and i have i done enough as a mama also the other area is the generational side so for example that would be we had a discussion earlier this year about how to do more journeys how we feel mamai we feel fear around it and also not good enough and we know it's not ours but it's been passed through generations through our tipuna but the good part is we can change it it's the repetition so through our words through our actions if there's an area of your life or something you want to learn or change in your life all you have to do is repeat 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 until it sticks and eventually it will and it'll become a new habit a new belief a new value a new way of doing things a new skill a new talent yeah all of that so with mindset it's quite easy to feel like you're not good enough in certain areas like to do a multi journey we have the opportunity to change it yeah you can upgrade from what we downloaded in those first seven years it was possible and also I love this part that Dr. Linton mentioned that we are powerful although society has tried to take that power away from us we were built to believe we're poor that we should stay poor or the rich stay rich we can change that with our mindset we can change our biology with our mindset here's, here's a quote big belief around if you think you're sick if you say it and you believe it then that can alter our biology that sort of thing so once you say it you are it so instead of saying negative things we can flip the switch and say positive things and keep repeating repeating and it'll happen put it on the universe wherever you believe anything's possible yeah that's me finish rambling <laughs> Thank you.